If it isn't one thing, it's usually a dozen others. Today I'm trying to get the water going, so that's why I'm a plumber right now. Over the years, you learn a little bit of everything, but you know, just as you get fatter, you get less mobile. That's the biggest problem, I think. In the frozen Yukon, king of the Klondike, Tony Beats, is preparing for a record-breaking $16.2 million season. See, in my next life, I'm gonna be a plumber. You know why? Because then every was a customer. But Tony's plumbing career will have to wait. If we're going to do anything at all this season, we have to upgrade our equipment, and we have to go bigger. I mean, Mike needs a whole pile of it. We need a whole pile of it in the Indian River. If we can't nice enough see all that new stuff show up. He's expanding his operation, planning to mine both the Indian River and Paradise Hill in the hopes of hitting an ambitious season target. Our goal this year is going to be 9,000 ounces. We have to get prepared for that. By doing all that, we should have enough equipment in place to operate both places. Look what it scoops up. Tony recently took delivery of a 950 excavator. It's the biggest in the Klondike, with a massive 10-yard bucket. Yeah, we can load a 40-ton truck with three buckets. But to keep up with this enormous excavator, he now wants to upgrade his dozer. Buddy of mine there got two D11s, and I want to go and have a look at them. Because before a guy pulls the trigger, it is nice to you know, kick the tires on these things. At a neighboring claim, Tony checks out used D11 dozers to see if they fit the bill. <laughs> well, I don't know about this. No tracks. Looks like they put new rollers on the needed. And usually one thing goes, the next thing goes. There's really no use even looking at it. I mean, I have stuff at home already that I got to work on. What would I buy something I got to work on too? No, I don't think so. Let's have a look at the next one. Here is the other one. Looks a little bit better anyway. It's a nice looking cat, but they must be 20 years old already. I have cats like that. I want something that they can rely on for the next five years. If we uh, get the license for Don Ney uh, in the Indian River, there's no use going there with old stuff. If you want to be successful, you better show up with some new stuff and uh, be ready to do the battle. We'll talk to Minion, but if we're going to do 9,000 ounces, we better get some power out there. And I looked at the D11s at Gary's, and uh, how many hours are on those? Yeah, there's thousands and thousands. The cats got to run day and night. Yeah. By looking at all these cats, I think our best bet is just get a new one. That costs a lot more. Oh, well, so, so I think we just as well just bite the bullet by new. I no, don't so. I don't think that's the answer. No. If we're going to get 9,000 ounces out of the ground, then we better gear up for it. Anyways, for years we've been buying old stuff, and I mean, it worked. You know, we had to run older equipment to get to where we are today. But now that we're sitting here and we got this project in front of us, buy new, buy bigger. Yeah, I know. So we blow the out of our budget, but then what the f I guess? Well, the rules are made to be broken, budgets are made to be blown. <laughs> but there you go. Well, finally we made it to Adlin. I guess so. How you like to live here for the winter, Minnie? No. I'm fine where I live in the winter. Determined to hit their 9,000 ounce goal, Tony and Minnie Beats are breaking with their tradition of buying used equipment and shopping for a brand new D11 dozer. We can't go anywhere else to shop for a D11, so we might as well find one in the Yukon. Derek is going to be down there. They're apparently going to have the cat running. Well, yeah. and it's going to cost you an arm and a leg, so I mean, you might as well have a look at one. 
They've traveled 400 miles to meet sales rep Derek Funk. This is an older model for sure, but you're going to get a good idea what these things can push. It'll be a little bit bigger, um, more horsepower, better visibility, safer, uh, but this will give you a good idea. With no testing grounds within a thousand miles, Derek has set up a test drive of a working D11 owned by Keith Byron. I highly recommend it with the, the difficult ground here. It was frozen way beyond what everybody thought. You couldn't touch it with anything but the D11. If you're gonna get this kind of gold, oh, you gotta have yeah, horse yeah, 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 yeah. I got another one we call the hamburger. Oh. That is like a hamburger. That is like yeah. a hamburger at a patty, isn't it? Cool. With 27 <laughs> ounces each. Holy oh, smokes. <laughs> Wow. Tony called me, said he wanted to talk about D11s. I was assuming something used from 1990 or 80. They said, no, I want to look at new ones. I'm like, whoa, what? Because that's not like Tony. Tony is counting on this machine to play a vital role in hitting his $16.2 million season target. It's a little bit more high tech than what we got in the old bulldozers at home. Compared to the D11 to the D10s we have, I mean, we got 20 tons more weight. We got two, 300 more horsepower. Hey, there's just no comparison. <laughs> Bloody. <laughs> Tony takes the D11 for a spin, Yukon style. This machine is way bigger, way heavier. It's 850 horsepower. This 125 ton machine can drive the 2,700 pound ripper shank deep into the Yukon permafrost. This thing rips pretty awesome. When we get into the permafrost, this thing will just walk through it like nothing. This raw power will give Tony a jump on the season, allowing him to start way before the Yukon thaws. It definitely will be a game changer. If we want to do something, we're going to have to do it quick just so we can get it here for the spring season. If Tony has any chance of getting a new D11 ship to the Klondike in time for his upcoming season, he will need to decide now. But it's a huge gamble. He still doesn't have a license for his Indian River claim, or he wants to use the dozer. We'll probably have to make a reminder before we know if the water license comes in yay or nay. The only thing is the price tag is really pretty high. How much warranty on those things? Uh, you know what? We can uh, negotiate on that as well. We will. Yeah. Oh, there you go. With a second-hand dozer tested, Tony and Minnie are on the brink of ordering a brand new D11 that could supersize their mining operation and gold total. What do you think a new one of those runs, Derek? Depending on the options and what you're getting, spit it out. Don't be a salesman. I want to figure. We're probably looking around 3.5 million ish. And you get a new hat. You know what? How about a jacket? I'm going to get you a jacket. With the jacket comes a new dozer. Do I have to pay for the dozer too? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, you write it up and let us know. See what the heck we can do. OK? Let's do it. Deal. Good. <laughs> I'm not shaking nothing under. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> you can't shake hands these days. We bought the damn thing. It's a lot of money. But what choice do you got? You're going to get 9,000 ounces out of the ground. Okay, we need bigger and newer equipment. Hopefully, it arrives on time. The new purchase puts Tony $1 million over his $4 million equipment budget. Don't forget the Jacket, okay? <laughs> and send us, yeah, send us all the paperwork, will you? I will. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll meet up.